Well, welcome to our studio. Today I am working on a little piece for Santa Fe. And this is a rooster just kind of browsing through this garden looking for bugs. He's hunting and pecking and just looking and keeping a watchful eye out. Looks almost like he spotted something with this little alert stance there. I'm using mixtures now. I'm using some of my mixtures from my terracotta floor. This is just a mix of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And I've mixed it together and added cadmium orange. And this makes a nice terracotta color. Now I can just brace my hand against my canvas here and come back in and do a little bit of the finer detail. This steadies my hand as I, I work on, on his feathers here around his head. We're going to have the light hitting his head up here. Light's coming in from the upper right. And I'm going to use a little bit larger brush. Find the one I want. Here we go. Feathers comes down over his back. Now his chest is going to be dark. Gives a nice dark that then the light hits those petunias behind him. And then his coming here on his wing, I'm using some ultima or phthalo blue plus white. And again, this is my mixture of, this is just my pure mud that I'm using for my dark. His legs back there. I'm also going to use a little bit of ivory black. If you really want a true black, ivory black is a good, good black. I'm not going to use much, but just a little bit. Clean out my brush. The secret to uh, clean color on the canvas is a clean brush, and I swish my brush in the thinner and then wipe it out, and that makes a real good, that gives me a clean brush that then I can come back so my colors on the canvas stay crisp and clean. Now he's got some pin feathers here underneath his tail feathers that just are dark. I have my reference material. I work when I'm painting things like this. I always work from reference material. I have photographs. In fact, we took lots of pictures of roosters when we lived in Hawaii. We've lived there three different times. We've lived on the Big Island, we've lived on Maui, and we've lived in Oahu. And there's all kinds of roosters running around, not in Honolulu, but once you get out into the, the countryside, there's roosters just everywhere. Roosters and chickens. They call them moas. They're just the native wild, wild roosters. And so we took lots and lots of pictures when we were over there. And so I just pull up some of those and, and look at them as for my reference. Now his, the end of his wings here are more of a terracotta color. And I kind of exaggerate the color in my roosters. I, don't make them just entirely true to, true to life, but that's just want to add some real vibrant color into them. So we're going to bring actually some, this is cadmium red light, just over his back. This is called the saddle, these tail feathers that come over his back. Add a little bit of white to that cadmium red light and a little bit of orange, just to make it a little bit brighter and warmer. Because the sunlight's hitting his back. That brush isn't clean. I want my color to be nice and bright here. 
There we go. We want some light coming here on his back. That's almost too light. And then we're going to bring some gold up here onto his neck feathers. And this is some of my terracotta color, which again is mud plus cadmium orange. And I've added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium into it. And this just makes kind of a gold into his neck. And these feathers come down over his shoulder. I let the light really hit on his head there. This is a little bit of darker version of that. Let that come down over his over his shoulder there. His tail, I have washed in, when I initially drew him in, I washed in his tail with Viridian Green and also Thalo Blue. And so now I can just come back. I'm going to leave some of that underlying color in there because it gives up just a really nice luminosity to his tail feathers. But I'm going to come back and just add a little more color into them. Add some opaque color to add some texture onto his tail feathers particularly where the light is catching them as they come over. Their feathers are just iridescent in the, in the sunlight. I love rooster tail feathers. They're just, well, they just shimmer. And these are, I painted my petunias with a pink of which is called permanent rose and it gives me a nice hot pink and boy that pink and that green just really the pink accentuates those tail feathers it's complementary colors placed next to each other make make them appear more vibrant and Red and green are complementary, so the pink and green are basically comp complementary colors. And they just gives a real nice look to his tail. Oops, I need some tissue. My roll ran out. We use lots of this tissue. And uh, clean, keep the brush clean, keep the colors clean. When I go to the grocery store and I'll buy, particularly when they have it on sale, I may buy, you know, they come in packs of 24 rolls. I, 24 rolls per pack and I, uh, we use a lot of it. And it's just the cheapest brand that they have. And so I'll fill the cart. And I think people either think that we have a hotel or maybe <laughs> have a problem. But uh, Jack always used to say when we'd go shopping and pull up with the cart with full of the uh, tissue, he, he'd laugh and he'd say, oh, Mickey, Mickey, you forgot. He'd make sure people could hear this. And he'd say, Mickey, Mickey, you forgot to get the kale peptate. So he was, he was a mess. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. And I'm going to, now we're going to work on the head. Let me get that right in there. Just need a nice little dark in there. Jack had a wonderful, wonderful sense of humor. Great laugh. And the light catches these as they flip around. Okay, now, let's see, we'll do his beak. 
Again, this is some of my floor color with some white added in. And I still have my mixtures from my wall. This is a mixture of mud plus a little cadmium orange plus white in it. I just want to kind of make that beak a little bit smaller. I had it too big. Take a little light and hit just the top of his okay. Now his comb is a mixture of my is cadmium red deep plus a little bit of magenta. Makes a nice dark red. And I'd wash the, the comb and the wattles in with a mixture of alizarin crimson plus liquid. That's dry now, so I can just come paint over that. And my brush won't pick up any of that wash underneath, but it gives me a nice luminosity. Now I'm going to start using a little bit of my cadmium red light where the sun hits this comb. It is back there. On these small, painting this small brush stroke pretty well can define a, an area for you. Now I want to put his eye back in. And I'm just using again, this is my mixture of mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. Let me bring this comes back. Now I'm going to need a little light right here. Right there. Still don't quite have his beak right. It extends out just a little bit more. Well, working this small is not the easiest thing in the world. Got that. Now I need to put the light back on there. A little dark again under that beak. It's just a matter of pushing and pulling. You have to come back and correct errant brush strokes. So I'm sitting in there. This little painting is, is fun. These little pieces are really a lot of fun. Uh, Santa Fe just, when people go to Santa Fe, they want to, take a, want to take a touch of Santa Fe home with them. We've always tried to be in galleries in tourist areas where people go on vacation for a couple of reasons. It's people are there on vacation and so they want to take something home that appeals to them, that gives them a memory. Mem these are memory catchers. And Jack always called them suitcase paintings, a small painting that they can just take under their arm and they can carry it on the plane. They can either put it in the suitcase or tick it, tuck it under their arm and put it in the overhead bin or we've had people carry them in their lap all the way home. That's 
So that's the fun of being in galleries and tourist areas. The couple is there together so they can make a decision and it's just something fun. Good remembrance. A little dark here and I think we'll have this fella. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please subscribe to my channel. I also have a blog. The link is in the description below and then I also have the address on the final frame of my video. I show the entire process of my paintings I do and I just hope you'll come visit. Take a little more light right here on his neck. Thank you for watching. Oh, I need to do his feet. I need to do his little feet. I forgot those. Can't, can't have a footless, footless rooster. A headless horseman, he's got to have feet. Now my wall is wet here, so it's easy to just drag this into the, the wall. This, this foot's raised up a little bit. Take a little bit of my wall color just to find those talons a little bit. It's got a little spur. Give him a little one. All right, there we go. Thank you again for watching, and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.